In this multi-part video, we're going to show you how to export data from Tableau. A lot of times you get a Tableau that may already exist. And if you get this Tableau that already exists, you have the opportunity to use it and use the data. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Superstore data, which are part of the sample workbooks. And you can go through and you can look at the data. Some of these cases are more than one data set inside here. So, you know, when you go into this, you have the opportunity to come over here click data source then from the menu you can hit data and you can go export data CSV comma separated values sales targets that's what this data set is navigate to where you want to put it and put save that's how you get data out of a visualization now each tab might have its own data source you have to actually go through them and pick out which data source you want but in short that's how you get data from one place in one place and out of another so in this video we open up tableau and we don't have any data loaded into it in the previous video which is video zero what i did was i extracted data from a tableau package that we had in fact i extracted data from the superstore well going into that same theory what i'm going to do is actually load data into Tableau. Now I can take Microsoft Excel, text files, and you know, really popular nowadays are spatial files. But right now I'm gonna focus on Excel. And I'm gonna click Excel, and it's gonna go to Navigator, and then I'm, I actually have a folder set up with the data called Community Data. And you see the common separated values of CSV files are, separate, are not highlighted because I chose Excel, and not the text file. But in this particular case, I'm gonna open up, say the Superstore EU data, which I extracted from some of the regional data and superstore data. So I went through one by one and got what I wanted. So I click open this data file and you'll notice quickly that the data will pop in automatically. The very next thing, now this file actually has just one page, one worksheet in Excel, so it automatically preloads. Here you have a sample of the data, it's like showing 100 rows of data, not necessarily the whole file. You could have, that's a good thing because you could have a million rows of data. It also shows you the fields that you have in the files, you pay particular attention to that. Then once you have that data, you can actually come over here and you can create an analysis. In this case, I'll just drag country over, I'll drag profit over, and then I'll pick, you know, this creates a weird, it uses like a small intelligence, you know, more than a small intelligence, a good intelligence to decide what it is. But in this case, we want to make bubble charts for the country so we can see where it is. I'll go ahead and make it a fit width. Yeah. Maybe I'll do the entire view and it will allow my bubble charge work pretty well and it created a thing. But the key thing here is to have created data from an Excel file and I wanted to show that. In the next step, we'll revisit what else we can do. In the meantime, we'll rename the sheet, but we just want to start here. In part one, we explored how to load data into Tableau from Excel. Now let's take another example, let's create another file here. To wait, what we want to do is load another data file into an existing workbook. Right now we've loaded a single tab workbook into Tableau and created a single worksheet for Excel file. Now let's create another one from a multi-tab worksheet. We're going to click new sheet, the data follow the sheet. We're going to go data, new data source. Then we're going to choose Excel file again. I mean, in my data folder, I'm going to pick file four. Now file four is basically a data file that I created simply they had all those other files in there. As you see, you have orders EU, global, and USA. So let's say I want to pick up orders global. I drag over the worksheet that I want and drag that worksheet over. And then what it will do is populate just like the previous example did into this screen. And it does. Here's a sample through 100. Here's a field list that you have. We go back to sheet two where we're working. We'll bring country over, do the same type of analysis we did before. Country, we'll put profit over here and we'll create the bubble chart just like we did before. And um, in that regard, you know, I don't like the color of the bubble chart to be honest, but we'll put width and entire view. And so we have a, a, a global chart where we name this tab. We want to show you how to create a file or load data up from an Excel file that has multiple tabs and how you get to each one. If I want to repeat that, I would click on another sheet and I would load another data file into this. In the last video, 
we actually looked at how to load multiple tabs of Excel into um, Tableau. What we did was we created, I didn't have the color before, I did drag color of the country into color to get the color to look like the very first video we'd done. But now what we did was we took this video, which was data file four, and it had three tabs and we had global tab. However, as you see, data follows the sheet in Tableau. That sheet follows this, this sheet has this data set, so you have to follow the sheet in Tableau to follow the data. Now, we're gonna create a new sheet. This time we're gonna change it. Like in the previous sheet, we had pulled in only the global data. So we'll go back in here and let's go ahead and create a new data set. In this case, we're gonna create another one. We're gonna come, we can't, we don't actually have the right data source. If I go here, it's gonna be the global data. It's not really what I want. So I'll just go back to data, take a new data source. I can't just change tabs easily. So I have to go to new data source, come back, grab the file four that I was going to do, and then I'll grab, instead of the global, I'll grab, there's some other tricks to doing that, but I'm just gonna leave it this way, and it brings up the sample data like before, the field file list, so you have sample data up to 100 rows, you can have 10,000 rows, the field list here. So now I have this, it follows the sheet, I go back to the sheet, and now I've created a different sheet, and I'll create an analysis here. Um, in this case, we'll do city, and then with city, we'll go with profit. We're gonna stay on the same profit theme for all these data loading samples, make it consistent for making see the differences in it. And then, you know, I can drag city over the top of color to make it a little bit more robust in those regards. So we have a pretty city chart. So I'll rename it in the next video. It will continue to explore loading and changing data in Tableau. So in this video, what we're going to do is looking at loading a CSV file. We've already loaded multiple things into the file. So what we're gonna do now is just really focus on getting the CSV file loaded into the system. Now here we've loaded a single worksheet, a multi-tab worksheet. We've changed tabs in a worksheet. This time we're gonna create a new book. And you see a default for the previous one. We don't wanna do that. What we wanna do is load data again from new data source. And what we wanna do is choose text file this time if we load a CSV file. We pick a CSV file source, CSV, pick the sales commission's data file. We'll say okay, it loads that file. It also looks and sees the other files in the folder. Same thing as before, you can see the records. There's only 41 records in here. It does have a limit, it usually sets to 100 rows. It could be 10,000 rows in a CSV file easily. But we're looking at it and then it shows you the field settings you have right here. Now with this, we go back into the sheet. Let's take the data we've, we've gone, let's put region. Um, they don't think they have the profit like we did before, um, but we might look at the sales by region, and we're gonna stay with the bubble chart example that we've been doing for all the other analyses. And now we have a bubble chart. Certainly the East region seems to have an awful lot of things. We'll rename this file in the next video, but I think this is a good show, show of how you got a CSV file into the system. In this video, what we're gonna do is look at the fifth way of getting data into a sheet. And we've already done four, right? Single worksheet from Excel, multi-tab worksheet, changing the tab in Excel, loading a CSV file. In this case, we're actually going to look at just, we've loaded four different files into the same Tableau project. Now we're gonna do is create a new worksheet again, but this time instead of loading data, we're gonna actually go up here to the data sources and just change our data. Maybe we'll look at the um, USA data a little bit, or the global data to conduct our analysis more fully um, in this regard. But I don't know if we want, let's take a look at the orders data. And this time, let's take a look at the customer name. We'll drop it up here, the customer profitability. Oh, that's really great if you have customer profitability. And we'll drop that, a lot of organizations always wish for that. We'll stay with the bubble chart that we've done for all the other ones. However, you see when we bring them in there, you can see some names pop in, but not all of them, because it just doesn't, there's not enough room for the text to really show up. And customer popular might be a, this is probably not a good chart for them and we could probably take customer name and drop it into color and take profitability and drop it into oh that's pretty drop it into size at least we can see the big the big customers in there and we can see who they are right away and look at this and this is right from the superstore data so hope this is helpful how we ch actually change the data source from within a file now we'll have five different ways of looking at data right we first we loaded all the data from one two three four sources now once the four sources there, we're able to create a new worksheet and we can just pick which source we want to work with by using the data selector up here in this pane.